my name's Matilda. And I'm Robert. And we are the creators of the Inspector Flushman Mysteries. Everything you see in the series was written, created, filmed and edited at home, which means you can do it too. In this video, we're going to give you some tips on how to create your own whodunit. So, here are some top tips for a homemade mystery. Decide first where your story is set. We set ours in a hotel so our characters could be staff and guests. Any room or space can be a film set. Try and find a different backdrop for each character to try and make them more memorable. And don't worry if you don't have all the props. You only need one or two items to make a viewer understand where you are. A poster. Or a piece of furniture. For example, one of our shots was meant to be in a jungle. So we used a canvas, a house plant, and a toy orangutan. Be creative with what's around you. The filming doesn't have to be complicated. You can use a camera like we did, or a camera on your phone. Try to keep the camera as still as you can. Make sure the area is well lit and that there is no unwanted background noise. Shh! Don't worry about fancy editing. If you can edit on your computer, that's great. If not, film each character on a different video answering all the questions and simply play them in order. We had a lot of props to create, but we could only use objects that we already had at home. We searched through our own wardrobe for suitable costumes and made anything we didn't have. For example, foil for the robot. Pens and paper can be used to make signs, bring objects to life, and cut out shadow puppets. We covered two lunchboxes with paper to create our hotel in the bath. Our spider was created from a pair of black gloves and wiggling fingers. Be as creative as you can. Adding music and sounds can add to the fun. Try making as much yourselves as you can. The spider's voice was made by me clicking my mouth and tongue. The Tudor music being played behind Queen Elizabeth was played on my flute. You can also find royalty free music on YouTube. Of course the main part of making a whodunit mystery is crafting the story together. Our advice is to choose the crime and then start from the end and work backwards. Decide who committed the crime plant a couple of seeds early on, then decide on the other suspects. Try writing it down so you can see your story map. Then think of clues and what links each clue to a suspect. So there we go, our top tips. We hope this has given you some ideas on how to start your own whodunit. Thanks for watching!